this is kunal uh, so i run a website called analyticswithya.com uh, the idea behind analytics with is to create a knowledge platform where uh, data scientists and aspiring data scientists across the world come onto this knowledge portal and create knowledge or gain knowledge and everyone in the ecosystem uh, benefits in the process uh, so i've been running analytics with them for uh, close to 5 years now in fact uh, tomorrow we'll be completing 5 years since the time i booked this domain and uh, honestly i mean i had no clue how far we, we, uh, i would come and how how much uh, 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 attention i would get through this uh, domain so it uh, uh, so a bit about my journey so i started analytics with them back in 2013 as a personal blog to start with and at that time the idea was that you know i had spent about 8 years in analytics industry uh, working in various uh, roles and i thought uh, uh, i would just share it out because i couldn't find the equivalent forum at that time so i i started sharing my experiences through a blog uh, back in 2013 and interestingly people started uh, following back people started coming back asking questions doing discussions on the uh, portal uh, to the point that you know i could feel a much larger impact coming through my blog rather than uh, uh, my day job so i i thought let me kind of uh, switch over so so sometime in 2014 i started doing analytics with their full time with the aim to convert this into a community portal and over time we have added uh, discussion portals a hackathon platform where people can assess uh, other data scientists they can benchmark themselves where they lie in the spectrum uh, to a job portal and a training portal so so the idea uh, is that as a data scientist or as someone who wants to get into data scientist if there is a career need or a knowledge need you have analytics so they should be able to solve that so that's that's what i do uh, and that's that's a bit about myself great thank you so much and congratulations well happy anniversary soon <laughs> i saw yeah. like i thought it was already 5 years uh, so gradually you on that anyways <laughs> okay okay yeah so something cool. 5 years tomorrow <laughs> yes so you started this uh, so you worked for 8 years in analytics and then you decided to start a blog but you never knew how far how big it would get right yeah, correct So how many contributors or users do you have on the site now? So today we have uh, 150,000 registered users. Uh, wow. So and a registered user is anyone who has either contributed a blog or participated in a discussion or participated in a competition. Mm-hmm. Uh get uh, more than 2 million visits month on month on the portal so um, mostly people coming to learn through various resources which are out there on the site. Uh so uh so uh, so a lot of people come and use that on a regular basis and if they want to engage into anything specific if you want to ask anything specific or you want to judge or uh, participate in a competition that is when you register very interesting wow 150000 users that that's very impressive can you uh, can you talk more about the competition i wasn't aware of that is it kind of like a kaggle competition yeah so uh, uh so some of the basic principles uh, are very similar to kaggle competitions but uh, i guess there are a couple of differences in the way we look at uh, uh, these competitions so the biggest difference is you know when you look at competitions on kaggle they are typically uh complex research problems which uh, need a solution and then you uh, ask the best data scientists to go and compete for the these competitions Uh, just brilliant uh, but at the same time as a beginner if you go and try and participate in these competitions that creates uh, a, a, so I, i've seen people getting intimidated by the uh, quality of discussions which are happening mm. so our competitions tend to uh, uh, be more beginner friendly so so uh, even if you can apply simple things like you know creating a model based on let's say average by a class Uh, or uh, if you just know a linear logistic regression you should be able to start participating in a competition mm-hmm. uh, but then there is a gradient so so the top uh, uh, data scientists get differentiated but the idea is to make it more inclusive and get more and more people to understand how these things work so so that's uh, that's kind of the biggest difference in the way we look at competition so for us uh, competitions is uh, 
one of the ways in which people can come and uh, uh, see where they fit in uh, but there are other ways to kind of address their knowledge needs especially the blogs and the uh, trainings and uh, uh, the other aspects so so uh, competition is one way to kind of assess yourself and the, uh, all the problems come from real life industry problems so, so we have taken data sets from industry put it on uh, uh, the portal in form of competitions and the community benefits by participating in these competitions that's a very good idea very cool i'm, I'm definitely going to check that out i didn't know you guys did competitions okay you should definitely check it out there is there is one uh, competition coming up uh, this weekend uh, where the prize money is uh, you can choose to go to any international conference all paid uh, all expenses paid trip to any international conference you choose wow that's awesome so what tool do you prefer in in the competitions is there like r python what do you guys usually is there so the uh, competitions are tool agnostic and uh, you know the idea is to again keep it open keep it as uh, inclusive as possible uh, but what we have seen is you know uh, a few years back r was kind of more mainstream lately python is uh, becoming the tool of uh, preferred choice for for a lot of people Okay. Uh, most of the so solutions are typically in these two languages. So, so uh, there are people who use a few other tools. For example, H2 is quite popular as well. Uh, but, but yeah, languages. Okay, okay, that's cool that you keep it open so people can use what they're comfortable in. Uh, I've also seen that Python's gained popularity. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the next question is, what goal do you have for yourself for this year? It could be personal or professional. So uh, on the professional front, uh, uh, I think there are a lot of opportunities uh, out there in the community space where we want to play a lot more active role. We want uh, uh, the platform to grow uh, and then become the first source of knowledge for uh, anyone who wants to get into the domain. So, so that kind of is the overarching uh, uh, goal and getting more and more people into the ecosystem. Uh, uh, so starting from, so for example, as part of this five year uh, anniversary celebration, we are going and having workshops with uh, uh, students who are very early in their uh, career and then it's a half a day interaction with industry experts telling them what a career in technology and data science would be like. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of these initiatives where we just want to spread awareness. Uh, some of that would convert into users, some of them might not, but the idea is to kind of keep the ecosystem growing and uh, making it more and more uh, bigger so that everyone benefits. Uh, on the personal side, uh, 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 so I, I used to be a, uh, 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 someone who used to kind of uh, sleep uh, very late at night and then kind of not get up early. So I started uh, waking up early, uh, started uh, following a health routine. I guess that's, that's what is going to be. The okay, so you want to go to sleep earlier, wake up earlier and just be yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing that for uh, a couple of months now and that's that's going great. <laughs> okay, very good. So, uh, Kunal, the last question I have for you today is what do you enjoy doing in your spare time? So, uh, I read a lot of books, so, so that's uh, something which I really enjoy. And then uh, whatever time is left, I spend it with my daughter and, uh, and my family. So, so that's, that's broadly, I mean, most of my time ends up uh, uh, with activities on analytics. With we, we do a lot of activities over the weekend, especially because uh, uh, working professionals get time uh, over the weekend. But whatever time I get, I am usually either reading uh, books. Uh, uh, so I typically read a book a week kind of uh, frequency and then uh, rest of the time I just spend with my family. What, what are you reading right now? So right now I'm uh, reading. So there was a, uh, a very uh, good philosopher in uh, India uh, who is known by the name of uh, Chanakya. Uh, and he wrote a book called uh, Earth Shastra, so which is uh, uh, about you know how uh, kings or rulers uh, rulers should uh, kind of manage their kingdom and some of the advice from from that situation. So I'm, I'm, I'm 
currently reading that and its kind of implications in today's world and how how does how do those uh, advice translate into into the current world so it's a fascinating read so you're the ruler of the analytics video kingdom and you're going to implement that yeah so those those are the kind of parallels i i was <laughs> thinking on but uh, but it's, uh, i mean the, the learnings are much much bigger than those very cool all right well kunal thank you so much for joining us on humans of data science thanks 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 for your time and then keep the great work up uh, all the best